Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a bit of a old versus new. So today what I've got is an old Coleman stove. So this is from, I think like 1992-ish, and then a brand new Camp Chef Everest. So what I'm gonna be doing for you today is showing the difference on setting them up, how easy it is to set up, how quick it is to set up. I'll give you the, the size dimensions of the two, kind of some features of each one of them, and then I'm gonna boil some water on each one so you can see the difference between old versus new. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the old Coleman. So like I said, this is from about 1992 to 1994, something like that. They've made these for quite a long time. They make a little bit newer version of it. It's generally the same between each one of these iterations here. They may change some of the latching or the burners themselves a little bit, but they're generally the same. So this is a Coleman propane stove too. Pretty basic, pretty generic. Um, I'll go ahead and, and give you the dimensions here. So width were 17 and 7 eighths. Height, we are five and a quarter. And then depth wise, we are 11 and a half. So let's go ahead and open it up. So all there is is this one latch on the front, nice metal latch. And then you get two windscreens here. So you'll see the way the windscreens are held in are these two little metal pieces that go into these slots on the side. So it makes it a little bit adjustable. So if you have a bigger pan, um, these do kind of cut off the corners. So if you have a pretty big pan, you'll have to completely open up one of the sides just like that to get your pan to fit and then you kind of lose your windscreen. So as you can see, pretty basic setup. It's just two burners here. If you need to clean it, the grate just lifts up and it just kind of slots in on the back with two holes. So just like that. So pretty easy to clean. This one we haven't cleaned in a little bit so it's a little greasy but you see your two regulators down here. One thing I've noticed it might be because of the age but it doesn't regulate very well um, so you basically get hot or off. One thing you'll notice as well is there's no starter on here. So this is a manual start, so you'll have to use a lighter or a match to start this up. So now I'll give you the dimensions of the cooktop. So in the front, we've got 17 inches by about nine and seven eighths or so. Um, you can fit probably about a 10 inch pan there. If you do want to put a 10 inch pan, like I said, you'll probably have to take the side off if you're using both burners. Because in the back, you only have about 15 and a half inches. So you're losing about two inches of cook space because of the way the wings are on this. So I'll go ahead and show you the setup process of the Coleman. So we go ahead and take the propane regulator and stick it on and then screw this on until it's tight. So super easy there. And then we just screw on the propane. Now we'll turn on the propane. easy to start up so I don't you can't really see this but it doesn't make a blue flame really anymore so it's just kind of a I don't know an unruly yellow flame that just kind of goes all over the place and it's really hard to regulate it um, otherwise super easy to set up and to get started with just a lighter all right, so let me go show you the features of the Camp Chef. So this is the Camp Chef Everest. Um, from what I can tell, this is kind of a second generation. They used to have metal latches on the front, but this one just has plastic clips. So 
Uh, this is just kind of a press fit. They don't really clip on, so you just lift these a little bit and it'll open up. Up front you have your two um, adjustment knobs and then this one is an electric start, so you just press that guy in and it'll start your burner. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now the first difference you'll see is the windscreens are actually attached to the side of the stove rather than the lid. So you'll actually get full use of your burner area rather than having to open up one side to fit a larger pan. So you'll see they open up to the side. And if you do need a really big pan, they'll just open up flat like that so you don't have to use up any space. To set these up, there's these two little notches on the lid here, and you just get those in there. So easy enough. So when you open it up, you'll see your two burners here, pretty big burners, and they have windscreens on the burners as well. If you have the sides down, wind shouldn't affect these burners too much. So again, very easy to clean. This one, all you do is lift out. There are no um, like special notches or anything. There's just holes in the back that you set the grate onto. So easy to clean. You just pull this up, clean it off, and put it back on. So one thing about the Camp Chef here is these regulators are really good at regulating the flame height so you can actually simmer on this which is really nice and then again you don't need a uh, match to start this you have an electric start there so with the camp chef I've already got the regulator hooked up so it's the same process as the Coleman we just screw on the propane now the big difference between this and the Coleman is there is a push start here. So we'll go ahead and turn on the gas. And it's already started. Now this one you can't really see the flame at all, but it's a nice short blue flame. And you can easily regulate it with these regulators. They're very sensitive. So you can see the size difference as well. Let me go ahead and give you the dimensions. So you're at 23 and a quarter inches wide by four and a half, four and three quarters inches tall, 11 and a half inches deep. So it's quite a bit wider than the Coleman, but the depth is about the same. So let's go ahead and get the dimensions of the cook area. So here you've got much more room for a pan. So in the front, you've got, well, the grate, you're looking at 20 inches. The full cook area, about 24 inches, so quite a bit there. And then the depth of the cook grate is nine and three quarters. Um, if you're going from the very back, you've got about 12 inches or so to the front. So quite a bit of cook area here. You can fit pretty big pans right next to each other. And again, since these have windscreens on the burners themselves, you can drop the side and still leave the top up, which is super nice. And then you've got plenty of room to put a big pan here. So on the side, you will see here is where your regulator uh, input is. And then you just take this end here and screw it in. So shove it on there and screw it in. Only takes a couple seconds. And then your propane attaches right there. Again, on both these units, you can get a um, propane attachment hose that'll attach to the regulator. So then you don't have to use these little green bottles. That's normally what we use on our escapade. But for this demonstration, since we're kind of in the backyard, I'm gonna be using these propane tanks. So again, on the Coleman, you'll see the propane inlet is on kind of on the front directly to the knobs here. So it's instead of being in the middle, it's on the front, but generally the same idea. Um, you just put the regulator there and then screw it on. So super easy, 
And again, you can get an adapter to stick on there and then use a hose to go to a bigger propane tank. One thing that you want to keep in mind on both of these units is there are no feet on the bottom. So you'll see here on the Coleman that it just has these raised kind of bumps and there's nothing to adjust so you can't level these out. It's the same exact thing on the Camp Chef. So if you want something adjustable, you'll have to pay significantly more for a stove that has adjustable feet. One thing I've noticed too is if you use a aluminum table like we do, these slide around a lot. So you'll see on the Camp Chef that on the little bumps here, I've added little rubber feet to it. You can get these really cheap at the store and just stick them on there and it'll keep this from sliding around on your aluminum table. But again, the Everest does not have adjustable feet. So you'll have to make sure that your table is level when you're cooking. Otherwise, you know, your liquids will be all off and your heat will be off. You'll also see on the Camp Chef, the handle is just kind of a cutout on the bottom. So it's kind of hard to, there's, there's a piece of metal here um, and it's just kind of cut off right there. So when you grab it, it's a little awkward. You can carry it around just fine, but it's not as nice as the Coleman. You'll see on the Coleman that it actually has a handle on the front, so super easy to grab and pick up, whereas the Camp Chef has this weird hole on the front. So I think point there to the Coleman. So in comparing these two stoves, the Camp Chef has two 20,000 BTU burners. So this thing will heat up a pot of coffee real quick. The old Coleman, I can't exactly find how many BTUs each burner is. I've seen anywhere from 2,500 to 5,000 BTUs per burner. Um, so not nearly as much as the Camp Chef. Um, that and this old unit, the regulation on it isn't the great, the greatest. So I guess you'll kind of see the difference between the two when we go to boil water. So what I'm gonna do is I've got two pots. They're not exactly the same size, but they're the same thickness and I've got them both filled with four cups of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil four cups of water on each one and see how long it takes. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Coleman here. I've got a stopwatch set up on the phone and a pot with four cups of water. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, as you can see, not so great. Nine minutes, almost 13 seconds for the Coleman to boil water. So let's go ahead and head over to the Camp Chef and give it a try. Okay, we're over here at the Camp Chef. Let's go ahead and get it started. And we'll see how long it takes. Alright guys, so you'll see the huge difference between the old Coleman and the new Camp Chef. Nine minutes on the Coleman, two minutes and 45 seconds on the Camp Chef. So pretty amazing. 
All right guys, so you can see the huge difference between the old Coleman and the new Camp Chef. Now, we can chalk it up as the old Coleman, I mean, it's pretty old, doesn't put it out as many BTUs anymore, but you'll see what you get when you upgrade to a newer Camp Chef or even a newer Coleman is a huge gas savings even because it's not even half uh, the time to boil water on the new one. So I do like the comp smaller compact size of the Coleman. If space is a problem for you and maybe you're just car camping um, or kind of overlanding out of your vehicle, the smaller size might be nicer, but you, again, you have to think of how much gas you're gonna use to heat up water all the time. I really like the Camp Chef because of the burner size, so you can fit bigger pans on here, how fast it can boil water. Um, in our case, the size really isn't that big of a deal because we're using our Escapade, so it fits right on the shelf in the back galley. If you're using, again, using the stove in a car camping situation, a smaller stove like this might work out better for you. You might want to get a newer one so you get a better BTUs out of it, but something like this is good for, you know, small uh, situations where you're kind of short on space. Otherwise, if you guys have any other questions for me on either one of these stoves or any one of our other videos, please check those out. Um, otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.